guys welcome back to my channel this is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be doing a product review on one of one of my favorite youtubers Mono's hair now she's got this curly hair collection and I've taken a product out of that collection and I'm going to be reviewing that today guys, I just like to say it's very rare that I usually buy a whole collection altogether I usually would buy one or two products but in this case I've only bought one and the reason for that is because well there's more than one reason I got it in the States and I can't get it over here in the UK the price was a bit pricey for what I usually go for and also I want to build myself up on a collection I like to try a product one at a time so this is what I'm doing so I'm going to be doing a product review on Mono's hair curl styling potion and the two reasons why I bought this guy is because I just love the fact that it's called a potion. It just sounds amazing. It sounds like it's going to do some magic on my hair. <laughs> Second reason being, yes, I'm being serious. Second reason being is because I wanted something that I could use as a leave-in and a styler. Now, I'll go ahead and say I did use this as a styler, but it didn't work for my hair because as I've mentioned in previous videos, I usually need a gel to get the desired look that I'm going for. I've got this in the States. I bought it in Sally's and I believe I bought it for nine dollars around that mark nine to ten dollars something like that so for this small bottle that is kind of pricey for me the reason why I don't necessarily like to buy pricey products is because my thing is I'm going to continue using them if I like them okay and I can't justify using a gel for 22 pounds at a time okay that's just that's just not the one for me. If it's a leave-in, it's not too bad. I wouldn't mind buying it for 10 pounds because I don't use a leave-in to the extent that I would a styler, but it's still a bit pricey on my end. As I said, we've got the Curl Styling Potion. It contains apricot oil, argan oil, and marshmallow root extract. It says two in one leave-in and styler with soft hold. Now, as I said, I did try this as a styler, but it didn't clump my curls together as I like. I like my curls to be clumped and not frizzy in. I got a very uh, frizzy, shrunken type of style. So. so, let me just read at the back what it says. For all curl types and textures, nourish and hydrate with this potion, blended with botanicals and essential oils to give curls volume and shine. Okay, I did get a lot of volume. <laughs> all right, so the directions, as a leave-in, Evenly distribute on wet hair and style with curl setting gel. As a styler, apply curl primer to wet hair and apply curl styling potion in sections to clump curls. Air dry, diffuse or sit under dryer. Now this is possibly why it didn't work so well in my hair as a styler because I haven't combined it with other products in the line. But I do like to mix and match my products because I might find a gel that I'm in love with, a leave-in that I'm in love with, and they don't have to necessarily be from the same line. So that's what I tend to do. I, I just like to mix and match because it's what works for my hair. Right, so I'm gonna go in and try this again. I did end up using it as a leave-in because when I used it as a styler, I wasn't happy with the end result. So then I applied a gel on it and it did mix very well with the gel. Now the gel that I used was as I am coconut smoothing gel and it worked amazingly okay one thing I did notice guys with the smell I'm not a fan of the smell only because it's very strong and I don't mind strong smelling hair products but this smells the smell immediately reminded me of uh, an aftershave so yeah I'm not too keen on the smell I'm gonna be honest but let's go on to texture so this is what it looks like quite liquidy it's got a nice texture I like that it's smooth it's not too thick so it shows me that there will be a bit of slip in there okay when I'm smoothing it into my hair so what I'm gonna do now I've got it on my hand I'm gonna show you how it mixes with my favorite gel at this current moment okay so my favorite gel is this as I've shown you in my last video and I'm just gonna take some of my favorite gel on my finger there and I'm gonna mix it with the curl potion as you can see guys it mixes very nice really really nice see this is what I'm talking about I don't feel that I necessarily have to buy all the products in the collection because there are other products that will mix with other products so let's start applying I'm gonna do my hair in sections as I usually do my hair has been washed and conditioned and this is my hair without any product so I'm about to apply the product on and just show you what I'm working with so we've got this. So I'm gonna put a good amount on wet hair. I think that's a decent amount. 
And this is not to put you off guys because some some people don't necessarily like hair products that have a sweet smelling smell now i do i'm into those kind of florally smells and some people find those sickly so you know this is a product review and i'm just saying my findings and this is just my, obviously my opinion i would say definitely go and try this product any product i do try i do say unless i really say it's a thumbs down guys i do say go and try it for yourself just to you know just to see what you think Okay, so it's giving me a bit of clumping, but as you can see, if I was to do this as a wash and go, I'd have a lot of frizzing. My hair feels coated, very lightly coated. It kind of reminds me of a styling milk. So it coats the hair nicely, and it gives it nice definition. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the styling gel. So I'm gonna apply this in all four sections. So yeah, these, these, this is what it would look like if I used it as a styler. I know obviously I'd have to use the primer first, prior, so I can't I can't say it's a fair judgment. But using this as a styler by itself, this is the result that I would get. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gel and then I'm just gonna do that in all four sections and show you my, my hair once my hair is completely covered. Okay guys, so there you have it. I will not be doing a dried end result today because I know how this is gonna turn out. I know it's gonna turn out like my usual wash and goes. Just because in the past I have applied gel on top of the leave-in conditioner. 
Okay, so my final thoughts, as I would say, it's just a quick video, guys. My final thoughts, I would say, on this Mo Nose Hair Curl Styling Potion. I would definitely say go out and try it for yourselves. See what you think. I love the fact that it's uh, quite lightweight because that gives me a lot of moisture and it gives me a lot of slip. And the smell is not so potent once applied with another product. So maybe if you use the Styling Gel in the collection, maybe it might dampen down the smell, I'm not sure. But overall, my hair definitely feels moisturized. I'm just gonna leave it like this, guys. I didn't shingle today because once my hair is dried, I am gonna put it into a bun. But these are the final results. I would definitely recommend trying this, guys. And if you have tried any others in the collection, let me know. So, oh, guys, don't forget, you can also find hair products that I have used in my previous videos on my eBay page, All Things Lauren Lee. I will leave the link down below in the description box and you can have a look here right now. All Things Lauren Lee. I have got hair products, but I've got other items on there as well, but you know, the hair products are there. <laughs> and if there is anything you want to know or you'd like me to try or you would like me to buy and then put on my eBay, I can do that for you. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.